In this episode, we're going to create a billboard script. This will enable us to use a 2D object in a 3D game effectively by always making sure it's pointing towards the camera. We're going to use two different ways of creating this effect so you can choose your favourite one. Let's get started. Here is the motivating example of what we're trying to achieve. You can see that the sprite on this box is always looking at our player, enabling us to use a 2D sprite in our 3D project to represent an icon or something. To do this, I've started with the default 3D first person project from Unity, so I don't have to set up any of the player controls to demonstrate the effect. So to start, let's drop your sprite of choice into the assets folder. And here I'm just using some icon from a pack I bought from the Unity asset store. Before we can add it to the 3D scene, we need to change the type to Sprite 2D and UI. Let's position it above this box as if it were a health pack or something. We'll create a new script called Billboard and add it to the sprite. We'll copy this over to the neighbouring box as we will create two methods of billboarding and it'll be nice to see them side by side. So now to the code. In order to pick between the two different methods of billboarding, we'll create an enum so you can easily toggle between them in the inspector. These are going to be look at camera, where we'll get the object to look at the camera each update, and camera forward, where we instead set the forward direction of the sprite to equal that of the camera. These look slightly different in practice, so I've included them both here. Now we have the enum, we can create a billboard type variable to hold our choice in. We're going to apply the billboard effect in the late update method. This happens after update, so we hope that we've processed any movement details before updating the sprites. This way the sprites don't end up facing where you were last frame rather than the current frame. We'll switch based on the billboard type so you can see both examples. We'll use the switch statement for the billboard type variable to run the relevant code. For look at camera, our script is attached to the sprite, so we can use the transform to get the transform of the object and simply use the look at method and choose the position of camera.main as our target. That's it. Now every frame, our sprite will orient itself by looking at wherever the main camera is. The second method is to set the forward direction of the sprite to the same as the camera. This has the effect of orienting the sprite parallel to our camera. The subtle differences between these two is most noticeable when you're moving parallel to the sprites. Here you can see that the one on the right is clearly oriented towards us and it rotates as we strafe left and right. Whereas on the left, which is staying parallel to us, it doesn't change. I feel that the camera forward method feels more natural, but maybe your project is different. One slight issue with this is if there is vertical movement in your game, like this, then they also rotate to point up at you. It's possible if you're using this effect as a marker for a game element or something, and you do not want this effect to happen. So we'll add in a way to lock the rotation about a specific axis. Firstly, we'll cache the original rotation by adding an extra variable and assigning it in the awake function. We'll also add three booleans so we can lock each of the angles individually. Now after we've updated the position, if any of the locks are enabled, we just reset the rotation to the original value. We do this with three if statements for each of the x, y and z rotations. In my test example here, rotation about x is the vertical direction, y is the horizontal and z is camera roll. So in this example, we want to lock the x rotation. Now when we jump up, the sprites stay oriented horizontally and don't turn towards us. I hope you found this tutorial useful in some way. As ever, the code is on GitHub and there's a link in the description below. My next tutorial will be on achieving the billboard effect using a shader, so stay tuned for that. See you next time.